subscribe to emit channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos which i upload hello students welcome to emit channel today i am back again to explain about the physics experiments for our 10th boards they are we have ohm's law in series individual and parallel ray diagrams focal lengths of finding lens and mirror for glass lab experiment and also we have prism experiment today i'm going to discuss all of them all physical experiments which we have i am going to discuss here and all of you are fortunate remember that you don't have mcqs till last year mcqs were there now we have only six questions into two marks total 12 marks happiest part is that whatever you know you can write unlike in mcqs where you will lose directly marks but in writing answers at least you can write something directly you don't lose marks as it used to happen in mcq still last year you are fortunate enough in that case you don't have a b c d you can write answers total six questions two marks each six to the 12 80 marks theory paper now i want to discuss about each experiment clearly and briefly so that it will be useful for your quick revision during board examinations coming to the first experiment ohm's law in ohm's law we will discuss how to find individual resistance resistance in series and also resistance in parallel all the arrangements are same so i discuss them in one heading only so that during examination for quick revision it will be easy for you to understand so coming to the discussion all of them are based on the same law we know it is ohm's law first coming to the definition of ohm's law what is ohm's law the potential applied is directly proportional to current flowing in a conductor and please check out the circuit given in the figure it is uh, same with some batteries one resistance resistance voltmeter connected in parallel and ammeter connected in series and one rheostat to regulate the current flowing in a conductor first diagram is individual resistance second one is resistors in series third one is resistance in parallel all of them have same procedure coming to the apparatus we use cells or batteries copper wires ammeter voltmeter rheostat and resistor wires in all experiments we know remember when you are doing experiment ammeter and voltmeter should not have any zero errors and whichever instrument has less least count that is the best instrument why means less least count means more accurate will be the value and least count formula reading by number of number of divisions and in the first one you please check voltmeter and given ammeter is given i am showing in the diagrams how to find the individual resistance and the procedure is same for all of them first pass the current using rheostat you can alter the current and for each current find out the potential and after finding potential v by i if you do you will get individual resistance and do the experiment for 4 to 5 times to avoid experimental errors and take the average of all the resistors which gives you individual resistance if you are doing that experiment and resistance in series also same procedure and also resistance in parallel also same procedure what is the procedure pass current of your own choice using ammeter you can measure and using rheostat you can alter the current find out potential v by i gives r do it four five times and take the average that will give you the resistance whether it is individual resistance or series or parallel in series remember you will get total resistance not individual resistance total resistance of both of them in parallel also you will get total resistance of both of them but you will not get individual resistance whether it is series or parallel whereas if it is individual resistance you will get that one. procedure is same for three of them 
now coming to the next experiment finding the focal length what is focus it's a point where all the light rays meet after reflection or refraction finding focal length of convex lens and concave mirror we have in our 10th cbsc boards examination what are the apparatus meter scale screen convex lens concave mirrors and whatever the object as shown in the figure keep the lens in between the screen and the object and whenever you get the sharp image on the screen find the distance between the lens and the screen that gives you the focal length that's a very simple experiment the distance between screen and lens in lens experiment gives the focal length whereas distance between screen and mirror gives the focal length in mirrors experiment but only the difference in lenses and mirror experiment is screen we will place between object and mirror in mirrors experiment so finding distance between mirror and screen gives the focal length in all the cases do the experiment same four five times to avoid experimental error and take the average of all five values and find out the average of uh, focal length which gives you the average focal length and to avoid experimental error we will do it four or five times it is same in the cases of lenses or it is same in the cases of mirrors also all i am discussing together so that it will be easy for you to understand coming to the next experiment we have ray diagrams children there is no alternate other than practicing the ray diagrams and when teacher is explaining in the laboratory check out all ray diagram headings are they coming correctly or not it will give you a very good experience if ever you do clearly experiment all 16 ray diagrams convex 8 uh, lenses 8 mirrors 8 you should be thorough there is no other alternate for that coming to glass lab experiment what are the apparatus required glass lab pinset white paper and for different different angles of incidence keep pins and see from the other side whenever you see a both the pins heads there you draw refracted ray finally what is our answer the incident ray and emergent ray are parallel that is only we will get to do it same for five times to avoid experimental errors and the average of all of them in all the cases you will get incident ray is parallel to emergent ray only and the lateral displacement concept is also very important it depends upon angle of incidence thickness refractive index of glass lab what is lateral displacement it is a distance between incident ray extended forward and emergent ray coming to the prism experiment what are the apparatus prism pins white paper same experiment again keep pins on one side on the incident ray and see the pins from other side wherever you see the pins draw emergent ray here we will get angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence whereas in glass lab incident ray and emergent ray were parallel in prism incident angle and emergent angle will be equal do it for five times in all five times you will get incident ray and emergent ray are equal why do we do five times to avoid experimental errors five times and remember all the angles should be incident angles should be between 30 degrees and 60 degrees only you should not draw 60 degrees and if prism was not there light ray would have gone straight because of presence of prism light ray is bending by some angle that is called angle of deviation angle of deviation at minimum deviation position remember try to remember at minimum deviation position angle of incidence is equal to angle of refraction and first refraction is equal to second refraction all the sum is try to remember how we'll do ohms law pass current find potentials find resistance same procedure for individual resistance resistance in series resistance in parallel do five times and take average value which will give you the answer and for focal length find the distance between lens or mirror and the screen that's all that will give you the focal length of a uh, uh, lenses or mirrors and next one for ray diagrams i told you again i'm telling practicing is the best choice don't learn them practice them try to understand the ray diagrams how to draw it will be very very easy don't learn them if you learn them you cannot understand them and coming to the next experiment fourth experiment what is the fourth experiment we have glass lab experiment what we'll do in glass lab experiment we'll keep pins on one side see from the other side the angle uh, incident ray will be 
parallel to emergent ray that's all five times you do between 30 degrees to 60 degrees incidence angle same you'll get incident rays parallel to emergent ray and prism same put pins on one side see friends on other side draw incident ray emergent ray angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence do it for five times average value you take between 30 to 60 degrees all times incident angle will be equal to emergent angle in this way we can understand and don't see science as a subject it is a knowledge you will be bewildered at its beauty lab experience will give you clear understanding about the subject don't read for subject for the marks read for knowledge marks are by product you will get it remember children many great scientists spent their full life in the labs only trying to the unleash the beauty of science we'll be very soon back for chemistry and biology practicals also this is only my small effort to make you understand the subject clearly and for quick revision during board exams thank you all the best